guys, I'm uh, just picking up, just missed a spot here and I'm uh, moving to a new spot. So I figured I'd show you guys this uh, while, while I'm in between spots here. So uh, it's super windy out, so I apologize if the audio is not that great. But you guys have probably seen some of my videos now with my snowmobile in there. And uh, I figured I'd just kind of go over it real quick with you and show you what I've done to it. Here's my 1997. It's a Arctic Cat Panther 440 fan cooled and typically that's what you would want for an ice fishing sled is a fan cooled because on days like today out here where there's no snow really at all except for this one spot I'm in, um, you're going to overheat and it's not going to be good and the fan cooled eliminates that problem. So you'll see all the guides and all the pros out there with all their brand new uh, Arctic Cat uh, bear cats and things like that but tell you what right here you can pick up a pretty decent old sled for a few hundred dollars and that's what I did here I got this I took all the stickers off um, I put a pair I put a set of spare skis that I had so they're CNA pro skis so they're actually pretty nice a little bit wider than the ones that were on their stock so um, keeps it up when there's powder and stuff. It keeps the front end up a little bit better. I built an auger rack Which is the biggest thing that I wanted to do. I used to use a gas auger So it made more sense for that to put the weight more on the front of the sled instead of trying to haul it But my k-drill fits in there perfectly too um, Doesn't weigh anything really, but it just keeps it from bouncing all around everywhere else, but I'll show you This is the mount that I made and with these old Arctic cats, they have this uh, bumper that runs all the way around. Pretty much all you have to do, you can just drill right through that bumper. And I built a little, I welded up a little bracket here, you can see. And all I gotta do is pull this pin out through on both sides, and that whole rack comes right off. And then you can flip your hood up and you can do trail riding and whatever else you want to do so you don't have the auger rack on there all the time but it comes right off really easy and you can kind of just see how I made it. just a little, little goal post welded it up and it holds really well so that was the first thing I wanted to do on this thing and really I just wanted to make this thing so I could be as mobile as possible on the ice because it sucks when you're anchored down to one spot and you're not catching fish I like to be mobile Especially when I'm fishing by myself. Um, this is a two-up snowmobile, so you can go bring with someone else with you. Um, another thing I did with this was I put a riser, a bar riser, on here. A lot of these older snowmobiles, the bars are down so low that when you turn the corners, they hit your knees and stuff. So I'm a taller guy, so I put a riser on there and uh, put new grips and hand warmers because my hand warmers didn't work. So that's why they're orange. But um, the other thing that I welded up, the second thing that I did was this on the back. Now this thing is super handy, um, especially if you don't want to haul a sled, you're not bringing a bunch of gear in, if you're just going jigging or whatever, you can pretty much throw whatever you want in this box. And uh, I'll link, try to link this um, crate thing in the, in the description. It's, it's got a lock on it, but you just turn it and then flip the top up. And I've got my, you probably can't see it real, I've got my flasher in here, i got some camera gear. Um, I usually put my bait bucket in there. I have a small little bait bucket, but it's back here right now. So that works really well, and it holds really well too. And it's also um, it's also detachable. Kind of did the same thing here. I built this little L bracket, welded it up, hooked it to the tunnel and to the backrest, and then I just bought a bigger size uh, square stock and. Just put a pin through it with a little cottage pin. So you just pop that out on both sides and this whole thing just slides right off. And it makes it nice so you can take all this stuff off if you want to trailer it on a small trailer or go for a trail ride and not have it banging all around on you. Um, I also put rod holders on here. This one busted up a few times, but 
Just enough to put your rods away every time if you're going to be using them a lot. You just walk right up and pull it right off. Um, let's see, the other thing I did is I bought a big tall windshield on this because when you're ripping across the lake, especially on a day like today when it's windy and cold, you're going to love that windshield. And we got a LED light bar on the front. It's already got a headlight. These older headlights are pretty dim. So I put this light bar on there. Sometimes I don't get off the lake until it's dark. If the bite's real good. So it's kind of handy to have an extra light just to see where you're going. You want to make sure that you got reverse to back off your trailer. And something else that's really important is picks. You need to have picks. Especially in the lake today, you won't even be able to move hardly. Another thing you might want to do is get a set of scratchers. So this isn't a liquid cooled sled, like I said before, it's fan cooled, so you don't have to worry about the tunnel overheating or anything, your heat exchangers. But the reason I put that on there is because if you're driving on uh, glare ice, you're gonna burn up these guys right here. These are your sliders, um, and if there's no lubrication on those, you're gonna burn them right up and you have to replace them all the time. So I got a set of these, uh, Josh gave them to me, they were on his sled, he was replacing them, so I took those, hooked them up, and I use them on a day like today to lubricate my slides. The other thing that I've done, I put a windshield bag in behind here, and I'll tell you why in a minute. I got my Humminbird hooked up. This is the same exact unit that I use on my boat. And all I had to do was buy one extra power cord, and now I can hook it up and have it on my snowmobile in the winter. And in the summer, all I do is unplug this, unhook it. I bought an extra mount as well. Um, unhook it, hook it on the boat, she's ready to go. So you don't have to buy two units, just use your one that you use in the summer. And also the other cool thing is in the summer, you can drive around in your boat on some of these places and mark points that you want to fish. And then in the winter, you can go to them on your snowmobile. It saves all the points. Um, and the way that I rigged this up, I didn't run this to the actual cranking battery in here. Um, just because I didn't want it to die out on me. This does have a pull starter, and it pulls pretty easy. But well, you guys know that I sold my kayak recently, and I had a, I have a small battery pack that I used to run this off from, and I actually have it in this windshield bag, and that's why I did that. That pack will last me probably all winter if I wanted to run this thing. I don't run it like continuously while I'm out here. I usually run it to find my spot, and then I turn it off. Um, but I'll link that battery pack in the wet, in the description, and you just wire it up just like you would to a regular battery. But it's a lithium-ion battery. I usually transfer all my stuff like this. I got a jet sled with the uh, tow bar, and I usually have a cover that goes over this. Uh, but today I don't really need it, and I figured it would just blow away when I took it off. So um, it's really handy to have that waterproof cover that they make to go on, over your sled. When you're going through slush and deep snow and stuff, this thing will fill right up on you. And you don't want any more weight than you need to carry this. This is like my number one tool for ice fishing right here. It really gets you around. Like I just, I came to this remote pond. There's like no camps here. It's super hard to walk in because it's a couple miles in. You can do it, but uh, it's so much handier when you can bring all your gear in, have a nice comfortable day on the sled, put your shack up and all that stuff. Um, so, I'd, so I just want to show you guys what I had done to mine. Uh, I forgot, I forgot the axe. I got an axe on the side here. I've actually had to use it a couple times to break through some stuff on the trails. Um, mostly just kind of did it to look cool, but uh, I just put these mighty hands, I think to call, I'll link these in the description too, but I just hooked them in right with my um, auger mount. They just, there's a hole in the middle of it, and that thing stays on there all the time. I've never had it come off, and I've put some miles on this thing. Even on the trail, I leave it on there. So that's my sled, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Like it, share it. We'll catch you guys next time. If you guys have any other suggestions for some cool uh, ice fishing snowmobile mods, let me know, and maybe we can do them.